those of you familiar with Gambia who have either visited or watched a few videos about Gambia inevitably you're going to see this area if you You sit in this location, park in this location, like I just did, for any length of time, I mean, 10, 15, 20 minutes, you will see events that are similar throughout Africa and even other parts of the world. There are going to be things that are unique to Africa also that you're going to see. Uh, I'd say uh, quite a bit of it will be unique to Africa. Africa is a, a land that lost its place on the world stage a couple thousand years ago. Well, it started a couple thousand years ago and then about a thousand years ago it just went. In the free fall after Spain was retaken by the Christians the people from the Middle East and the Christians joined hands and enslaved the Africans it was total enslavement then Today, the world that was created due to that is falling apart. And Africa is in a position to recover, retake its place on the world stage. But that is not a guarantee. And every time I make a video about this subject, I always tell the people that is not a guarantee because missteps can be made. And if you look back in history, you see a lot of missteps were made. Because when Africans uh, began to reclaim their right to self-determination in the 50s and 60s, and getting so-called independence from the European powers, they allowed each other to be murdered by the same powers. And they assisted in the murder of their leaders. Friends, families, soldiers, you know, uh, generals. Would take French, France's money and kill their leaders. If that miss, if they people didn't do that, Africa now would be in competition with China 
for leadership of the world stage. But that didn't happen. Like I said, missteps can be made that can keep you from assuming your place. Your, your, say your father's got two sons. And the two of you run his companies. One is a very good manager and the other, all he wants to do is play around, chase whatever, gamble and spend his father's money. He still worked for the company, but guess what? All those missteps caused him to lose to his brother the power that he could have assumed. Africa is that position. All the people who complain about what I say should start studying history. To start trying to build something instead of complaining. I am here because I came to build. So don't ask me, why are you here? Sad, sad, sad. <laughs> why well, I'm here building something and you ask me, why am I here? And all my videos are about me here building something. How ignorant can you be? What kind of fool are you? I'm here trying to lend my hand to make sure that Africa assumes its place on the world stage. What are you doing? What are you building? Please, you're wasting, you know what, I'm wasting my time talking to you. It's not going to help you because you're going to keep on doing what you do. You are assisting the, the man who is losing power with the way you are doing things. So, for the people who want to do something, come and do something. That's what we need. We don't want to make those same missteps that we made in the past. Good leaders got to be supported. Those who are going to stand up cannot be allowed to be murdered. They have to be protected. Those who are going to rebuild the Africa of 2,000 years ago have to be protected helped in every way possible. This is a war, people. Africa don't have soldiers. They're not attacking any other country on the planet. But there's a war against us. We haven't declared any wars, any economic embargoes, no. We don't seize anybody's money. But the whole world is against us. So, we gotta come out from underneath that yoke. Yep. There's a lot of things happening in Africa. If you look at Africa tech section, sector, you will see that it's a thriving sector. It's growing faster than the European and American tech sector. Hello. Oh, how Hello. are you? Hello. Good evening. And how are you? You're pretty good. What of this one? Because of our plant. <laughs> yeah, we are taking it to plant it at our place. Oh, man, I also need this. I have a I'm sorry, lab. but I'm not giving it away. We just found it. We were looking for so long, and we just I found it. it. Yes. 
Uh, so you are a farmer, right? Yes. Yeah, it's nice, you know. All right. It's good. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Ma. All good right. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. All right. Okay, bye, Have a good yeah. evening, man. Okay. look at Africa's tech sector, you will see that it's a thriving tech sector. You got people in Africa who are creating automobiles, creating technology. I saw technology from a young Nigerian man. And that, where is he from? Well, he was building cars. But there was another young man who built a system whereby the television doesn't need to be powered by a plug in the wall. And they attempted to kill him. They attempted to kill him because that technology is going to change world states. That's world changing technology. They tried to kill that young man. So they poisoned him. So, but why I mentioned technology is that American companies, tech companies are on the patrol in Africa, buying every tech company that they can. And when American tech companies start buying, that happened in China. American tech companies went into China and bought up all the tech companies. If you go back in history and look at it, you'll see it happen. It's only lately, since Z came to power, that he forced them into a position where most of them just packed up and left. This war with China is all about that tech. So Africa is producing it. But guess what? Like I was saying, America is coming in, buying up that ownership. Taking that ownership from Africa. When they buy the company, they're going to transfer that technology to America and claim it as their own. They're gonna buy it and take it to England, France, Germany and claim it as their own. The person who built the company, started the company and built it to that position, not gonna get credit for it. It's like the woman who Apple stole the iPhone from, allegedly, because uh, the court didn't rule on that yet, allegedly. She accused Apple of stealing the technology for the iPhone from her. So I have to say, alleged, she is claiming that Apple stole the technology. And if she is fact, and if it is factual, guess what? Da -da, another African. When she wiped, well, you can go back in history and see cotton gin, you know, electric lamp, telephone, all there in history. That when it's taken from you, it's not yours anymore. So we cannot make those mistakes. Those missteps, as I began saying in here, is just a, that's. All of those things are missteps. You can't let those things happen. African billionaires should be investing to keep that technology in Africa. But we're not doing it. So there's no promise that Africa is going to assume its world stage. It's, it's positioned as the head of the world stage. We could do it because all the world's nations have a problem Asian population except Africa. They cannot replace their own people that are dying. Africa is the only country that is doing it. The genetic makeup of every 
Caucasian, Chinese, Japanese, wherever you want to call them. Going downhill, the African gene is the only one that stays strong. So, you know, all of you who are complaining, you know, why are you there? So sad. That's why I'm here. Why aren't you? To all those people who are using the information to build and, and seeing what they can use it for to better themselves at the place that they're going to, wherever they're going to in Africa, wherever you are. I wish you the best. For all the others, please. Don't waste your time. Alright, wherever you are, I hope you're having a great night, great day.